How do you speak to your children about a crisis? So we've had a few parents contact us recently asking us for advice and just some tips on how to speak to their younger children uh, about the bushfire crisis that is currently happening in Australia. So we thought that we would hop on and give you a few tips on how to best do this. Obviously, Bianca and I are all about open and authentic communication, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a way to do this with your younger children without instilling fear. Uh, so we're going to be discussing that with you today. And I think that the best way to approach it is um, to come at it highlighting the positives in, yeah. in the situation and, and the good things that are happening. So the first thing that came to mind for us when we were thinking about this video and offering the advice that we were giving is the amazing way that the Australians have banded together and supported one another. Yeah, so um, talking about that first. Talking about that. Yeah. So talking about all the volunteer firemen and women who are out there um, you know, who have missed out on Christmas holidays. And as Crit said last night on our Facebook Live, these fires have been going on for months. And unfortunately, it's looking like there will be um, some tough times yeah. ahead also. But talking about these men and women who choose careers like firemen, um, police people, yeah. ambulance, um, paramedics, and just the amazing contribution that they make consistently to society, but especially in a time of crisis, um, and that these volunteers are you know, giving up family time when we when we might be enjoying holidays or time on the beach and, and these people are out there protecting the community. Um, and that's, they're, they're true heroes. So having the conversation, acknowledging those people and the sacrifices that they make. Yeah. And I think also discussing those people that are volunteering that aren't within these services. Mm -hmm. So those people that are volunteering to, uh, you know, sort food, to deliver food, to, you know, help at those rescue centers, to do whatever they can, um, just discussing that with your children to show them ways that they can help, even if that isn't their career choice. I yeah. think it's a really beautiful way of bringing it up, maybe talking about how the person, um, how the firefighter might feel, how the mm -hmm. firefighter's children might feel, mm -hmm. how their family might feel. So just discussing all those um, different emotions that might be, you know, running through. Yeah. And uh, in turn, uh, you know, linking to that, why so many people are donating and where these donations are going. Yeah. Talking about how um, contributing your time, your old food, uh, not your old food, sorry, your old clothing or yeah. going to the supermarket and buying food, how, and how that's contributing to supporting the community. So really having these conversations about how it's so nice to have that empathy and compassion yeah. and to support other people that we might not know personally, yeah. but that really talking about that sense of community. And I think also discussing, um, like Bianca said, donation is not just um, in terms of money mm -hmm. or food. It can be, um, you know, helping out. We It was so beautiful. We saw um, on the news some ch young children, um, they baked cookies and they started selling them. So um, showing them videos like that of the positive way that children of their own age are really helping. Um, you could ask them, you know, what do you think we should do? You know, what what do you think is a good donation? Should we donate money? Should we donate our time? Should we bake something? So really um, asking them how they want to contribute. Um, contribute, whatever way that is. And then after that, really asking them how it felt because a lot of the time um, it feels actually amazing to donate whatever that is to help money, in some way time. When, you, when you feel yeah. so helpless yeah. yeah so I think that's uh, a discussion in itself afterwards like how did it feel to yeah. you know help these people make a little difference yeah definitely so putting that positive spin on it mm -hmm. um and showing them that children their own age are really making a difference yeah. because like they say we don't need a million people doing the right thing we need a million people doing you know one small thing yeah, to help trying, us trying change it part. so really um discussing that with them another thing that is a really good idea to discuss is we um have noticed a lot of people are uh, starting to wear masks in the street obviously because the air quality um especially on different days is quite bad at the moment um so i think this is a really good discussion point um explaining what the mask is, why we wear it, um, you know, and it, and it is uh, basically to protect our own health because we don't want to breathe in 
uh, this type of air. So that's a really good discussion with your children about how we really need to be aware of and to look after our own health. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, at times like this, because although it might, um, some people are getting affected, um, straight away with asthma or symptoms straight away, we really need to look after our health because it could affect us in the future. Mm-hmm. So that's a really great discussion, how we can look after our health. Um, Even on the news, some days it's been saying, you know, stay inside. Yeah. So discussing that aspect of it as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, And I think the main and the most obvious um, thing to really have a discussion with your children about is the responsibility that they and we as the next generation have in protecting our beautiful country Mm -hmm. and nature and our environment. Yeah. Um, you know, Bianca and I being teachers, we know that sustainability and environment, you know, recycling is all a very big part of, you know, the curriculum now and teaching children to uh, be more sustainable humans. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to have that discussion, you know, how do we think that, you know, our recycling is impacting the environment? How is the way that we live, eat, Mm -hmm. um, wash, use the lights? How is that impacting our environment and our future, their future, really? Definitely. And I think that it's a really sort of tightrope to walk as a parent and as as an educator because we don't want to hide facts Mm. or or lie or, you know, withhold information, but we also don't want to instill fear. But obviously using your judgment to have age-appropriate conversations um, and talking about how you know, uh, the climate is changing Mm. and weather's getting warmer and what can we do? How can we play our part? Like Frick said, um, it's all about everyone doing a little bit and doing the best they can and educating one another and supporting one another. So, yeah, and I think also if your child is um, in primary school, they might even teach you something about Mm. recycling um, and, you know, how we can be more sustainable because, you know, even our parents, they're like, oh, how do you know all of this, you know? So I think there's a lot that we can learn from our children in terms of, um, you know, being sustainable or or asking them what they've learnt and how that you can implement that at home together. Um, but I think just the general thing that we're trying to uh, get to you is that your children are aware of what's happening. They just have to look out their window. Mm-hmm. So please be open and honest with them. Open a discussion. See how they're feeling. Um, because even if they're not watching the news, they've heard people talking about it. They might have seen something on social media if they're a little bit older. They're picking um, up on the energy. They're picking up on energy. it. Yeah. yeah, so just check in with them. See how they're going. Um, you know, as adults, we have bad days. Bianca and I, you know, the other week we were feeling really anxious about seeing all of these images and things on the news and social media yeah, about it. Yeah, you very helpless. Yeah, so please don't think that your child's oblivious um, to what's happening right now. So open up those lines of communication. Mm-hmm. Uh, check in and see how they're going. Yeah, if we can support in any way as always please feel free to reach out and we hope you have a fantastic week see ya